Okay, we're here at the road exhibit at the BVE with Alex. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys have on display at the moment? Yeah, sure. We have a bunch of new things, um, some very new things in fact. This is the new um, wireless filmmaker kit. So this is so new, we literally only got this an hour ago. Um, so we've been asked for a very, very long time because uh, we've made uh, lavaliers and we've made headset mics and all these kind of good stuff that will work with um, wireless systems. You know, why don't you make a wireless kit? So Rode have answered that question. This is the first um, in a sort of series of solution-based kits they're going to release. Solution as in, you know, these, uh, you don't just buy all this separately, you get everything in one. This is called the Filmmaker Kit. And it's Rode's wireless kit, which includes a receiver, camera mounted if you want it to be, or that has a belt clip, and then you get the uh, transmitter, and you also get the Lavalier. Uh, and then this is all in one, basically, all in one package. Um, Rode system is digital, it's a 2.4 digital gigahertz digital system, um, and it does some very clever things, like it has this um, hopping technology. So at any one time, the receiver, uh, the transmitter is always broadcasting on multiple frequencies, and the receiver will hop between the frequencies to favor the best one. The range is like 100 meters, setting it up is one touch so you just get the system push the buttons they pair and then you can just forget about it and just get on with using it with the filmmaker kit you get this three and a half mil connector that plugs right right into the side of your dslr or you can adapt it with the vxlr connector if you want to plug it into a portable recorder and that's it and that, like you know that just goes on your talent and off you go and you just make your film and it will be very competitively priced and very friendly so it's friendly, competitive, and I mean, this is the first, there will be other um, kits, and of course, if you do buy the Filmmaker kit, you know, this Micron system is the same as all of the other uh, mics, so if you want to get a headset mic, if you want to get the pin mic, um, you can just buy those and they'll work with this too, so it's friendly, welcome to the family, buy the, you know, buy the kit and it'll work with all our mics, so there's that. We also have some new shotguns, so I see you're using the NTG2. Um, well, for folks who want to take up a step, perhaps you might want to consider one of these. But um, a step up from the NTG2 and, and maybe in between the two and the three is the new NTG4. So there's actually two new microphones. So there's a four and a four plus. And there's some clever things going on behind the scenes. They have digital switches built into each one. And so the four, uh, well, actually all of them, they have a, a 75 hertz high pass filter and then they have a 10 dB pad, and you just turn on the buttons to engage those. Um, and then they also have a high frequency boost. And the idea with that is that if you're, um, you know, you're putting them in a blimp or in some kind of like foam, you can attenuate some of the high frequencies. And so by engaging that, it will bring some of those back and give you a slightly sweeter response. And actually the capsule that's built into these is new. So it's this kind of new smooth sounding capsule and obviously with the ability to do the boost. And those, those controls are engaged and they'll actually be remembered when the mic is power cycled. So you phantom power the NTG4 and the NTG4 Plus but the really weird and cool thing, weird because it's never been seen before in a shotgun mic, is that the NTG4 has got its own power supply. So whereas the NTG2, you can stick a AA battery, with the NTG4 Plus, what you do is you plug it in via USB. There's actually a little USB connector at the end of the XLR um, connector. That's included. In two hours, you charge up the mic. And as you unplug it, the mic will then phantom power itself for 150 hours. So you get 150 hours of phantom power on a two hour charge. And I mean, it's, um, you know, it's just amazing, really. So you're, what you're doing there is you're taking the strain off whatever you're plugging it into. So be it your camera and this, you guys have got it plugged into your camera. You know, you can turn phantom power off and you'll be able to just run your whole system for longer. And, you know, with portable recorders as well. So it can be a bit of a nightmare if you're on set to just, be this sort of battery fiend who is constantly having to plug in batteries to keep phantom power alive so it really saves your bacon but it'll still work with phantom power as well it's just nice to have that option these are out very soon in fact actually the mtg4s are now shipping the filmmaker kit is still in its final stages and that'll be shipping in april so look for that in april very competitively priced when it comes out i hope you guys like it
So what can we expect in terms of uh, prices? Okay, so in terms of pricing for the NTG4, uh, you're looking at about £259 sort of street price. And then for the NTG4 Plus, which has its own battery supply, um, that you're looking at about £299. Um, we don't yet have pricing for the Filmmaker kit. This is obviously just a prototype. So um, kind of watch this space on that. But the bottom line is it will be very competitively priced. I mean, you've seen from other road kit, they make good gear and they make it at a price that genuinely everyone can afford. So expect it to be well within most budgets. What uh, future exciting products should we be looking out for with roads? Well, um, obviously road are always developing things. I think that the next things you're gonna see are Obviously, this filmmaker kit is only the beginning, so there'll be other systems, there'll be other solutions kits. So if you want to, you know, use it with a handheld mic, there'll be, a, you know, there'll be a kit for that. So for you guys doing sort of ENG and kind of broadcast that sort of thing, look for more kits that'll, you know, configured in a whole variety of different ways in future. Basically, we're hooked up for a quick test with the NTG4 Plus. So um, we're actually supplying it Phantom Power. You can see there's a little blue light. Um, of course, if we weren't supplying phantom power, we can just, it'll supply its own power. The NTG4 Plus has got its own built-in battery. And then in terms of controls, we have a 10 dB pad. I won't put that on, otherwise I'll go all quiet. Um, we have a high frequency, uh, high pass, I should say. If I engage that, then you get a 75 hertz high pass filter, which will take a little bit of the rumble out. And there's a lot of rumble. This is a show. It's probably like the worst place to demo a mic, but you get the idea. The other control is this um, high frequency lift. So if I engage this, you should hear a slight increase in the high frequency. Probably want to be wearing headphones for this because it's quite subtle, it's not um, overdone. That is on, good. Um, and that's there to help compensate for the use of foam windshields. Um, blimps, you know, we have, this is all compatible with the blimp system, so um, just helpful. It means that going into the camera, you get a really nice, flattering sounding recording hopefully uh, if you can hear me um, and that's it and the controls are exactly the same between the NTG 4 plus and the 4 and also what's nice is that the controls are remembered when you power cycle the mic so if you there's a way that you have it set up that you like you can do that every time you power it on it will just retain those control uh, retain those settings so you can just kind of plug it in do your filming stick it back in its bag so um, yeah that's the NTG 4 I hope you like the sound of it